Um, <clears throat> folks, the war with Iran is not the only war we are waging. How do I know? Because I listened to a Seb Gorka clip today. Here is a Seb Gorka. Man, this guy. <laughs> I a tight shot, and I love how they do their ad. Is that an ad relief factor? Is that a an ad right on the microphone? Yes. Interesting. Brilliant. I'm ready for my close-up. Super mm. close-up. From the Dennis Prager School of just put that baby he's, right on my forehead. He's got a, uh, a painting of uh, the Twin Towers in the background. Hell yeah, you dude. You can see that. He's got an old reel-to-reel, which signifies they're doing a radio show. There is a presidential seal. Presumably, he either had one, a facsimile made up, or he may, you know, he uh, he stole that. Here he is, uh, Seb Gorka. What is old is new, folks. Uh, I remember doing a prank phone call to the American Family Association uh, on their uh, breakthrough report uh, on how uh, Lenny the Squid, uh, Lenny the uh, Shark, in um, Oh, gosh, what what movie was it? Uh, Shark Tales was um, actually promoting transgender uh, transgenderism, I think. Um, yes. Well, <laughs> guess what, folks? Seb Gorka's found his reason to continue to be a person. That's been the left from Robespierre to Trotsky to Marcuse to Alinsky to Clinton to Obama to today. Civil well, wait, society. Wait, wait, can we go back over? Can we start that over again? Because that's quite a lineage. Yeah. That's been the left from Robespierre to Trotsky to Marcuse to Alinsky to Clinton to Obama to today. Civil society doesn't exist. Friendship doesn't exist. <laughs> Family doesn't exist. Only permanent revolution. Have you seen what I posted on my Twitter feed with regards to family? Arthur is a children's cartoon. I think it's actually made with your money, PBS. My children used to watch Arthur 15 years ago about a rodent-like creature that lived and had fun in his cartoon world. The new season of Arthur will have one of Arthur's teachers at school, a male teacher married to a fellow male rodent. Did you have any questions about there being a culture war, ladies and gentlemen? Did you have any doubt in your mind? This yeah, is a fine. war for our culture, and that's why we exist here. That's a little borderline anti-Semitic. What? Mm. Mm. I wrote it like figure marrying another wrote it like uh, simple research would have revealed that it was an odd vark, but i'll go with vague rodent like figure the culture wars on folks they have arthur we know he recruited <laughs> arthur dad didn't like rodent like figures either neither did his buddies at the certain secret society that shall remain nameless because of immigration papers Mm. Has anyone asked Steven Crowder how he feels about this? Because I know he has a past connection to Arthur, right? Is that oh, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah he, he did a voice brain. on the show. He's going to have to... Is that uh, right? Yes. Yeah, he's going to have only, to like, legit repudiate oh, I had no idea. his yeah. association with this disgusting work of cultural Marxism. Look. Yes, indeed. Boo. Yes, indeed. Hiss. Look, I love Robespierre <laughs> as much as the next permanent revolutionary. It doesn't believe in friendship and spits family in the face. But where are the motherfucking Muslim names? <laughs> Mohammed, oh, ever oh, heard of him? Trying to replace the, the legal code with Sharia. And all I hear about is goddamn, you know, Eurocentric. BuzzFeed top 10 reasons.